everyone. Welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Today's devotion is entitled A Rocking Chair. And also, I'm beginning a new devotional. It's called Devotions from the Front Porch. The one I just finished is called Devotions from the Lake. And this one is by Stacy Edwards. And the verse for today is Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Come to me, all you who are, who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. We live in a society of stressed out people. Stress affects young kids, college students, and adults. Almost everyone seems touched by it. Then in, a, in an attempt to ease the stress, we make it worse. We work harder, we work faster, we do more, we refuse to rest, and then we wonder why we're so exhausted. It's a vicious cycle. Do you want to know who isn't stressed? Anyone currently sitting in a rocking chair? Try out a little rocking on someone's front porch and see what happens. You will rock your cares away, my friend. Christ knew that life would be stressful. He didn't invite us to come to him and have all our problems solved. A quick fix or an end to the current struggle is not what our bodies need. He gives us what we often do not give ourselves, permission to rest. We don't need to do one more load of laundry or work longer or harder or stay up later or get up earlier. We need to rest and Christ in his wisdom gives us permission to do just that and not only does he offer rest but he invites us to give our worries and burdens to him we have permission to turn on the radio and dance in the kitchen to laugh out loud to simply breathe we have permission to take a break from whatever is weighing us down you and I have permission to rest and there's no better place to rest than a front porch rocking chair I am so thankful, Lord, that you know what I need. When I am weary and overwhelmed, help me remember to come to you for rest. Well, one of my elderly friends from church gave me her Cracker Barrel rocking chair to put out on the front porch. I could tell you that it is a stress reliever to sit out there and uh, rock away like when I'm watching you know my husband do the lawn or something <laughs> but um, you know there's not a whole lot of porch sitters these days I think more so down south maybe than up north but you know I prefer to have a screened in porch because I just about got stung by a wasp but anyway I'm sorry for the noise the neighbors are getting a um, roof put on and oh back to the devotional you know God implemented the seventh day the Sabbath day of rest for a reason he knows he wants what's best for us for our bodies for our minds for our souls and he felt compelled to put in a day of rest he himself even took a day off so that doesn't tell you something it should <laughs> so if you can hear I got a bunch of stuff going on uh, got back from Miami last week and then I helped uh, lead the church worship service the Sunday and got back from church and started feeling feverish and I've been achy and sinuses ever since so it has not been a fun week, but it could have been a lot worse. And uh, my husband's aunt is still in the hospital and she's getting better. So they may release her hopefully very soon. But I hope that you guys are doing well. Keep up with your vitamins because whatever this is that I've had, you don't want. The worst part is you can't get comfortable at night. You're so achy and I took one Tylenol two nights ago. I gave in. I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> I needed to get some uh, a 
rest. But y'all have a blessed weekend. Take care of yourselves. Love you. Bye. God bless.